Today is 13 August 2018. Today is day 23 of the treatment with Ivermedine. Okay. This one year old male Netherlands draft rabbit came in with scabies. Now, you look at the day one. Now, day one, as you can see, there's a, there's a lot of crust on the nose. So the pet shop owner say this was a, a new disease because she says that the rabbit suffering from this skin disease has a pointed nose and it's actually it's a crusty nose eh? which you can see from this uh, image then no need crust on the nose you look at the eyelids area see whether you can enlarge it eyelids area you can see the crust there you see it's full of crust as well the eyelids on the upper and lower eyelids on on the right side and left side but we are showing the right side then the ear the edge of the ear you, you can uh, enlarge it a bit you can see really the the edges are thickened with very thick crust, we call it now. And the paws, and we just go down to the paws. Paws, you can see the toes are really filled with crust. And uh, it's really bad. This is day one. Uh. Then the back, the paws are at the back. No need the front, the back paws, uh, which you can't see clearly now. But uh, it's crust. Okay, now we turn the now we look at this rabbit now this is day 23 after ivermectin injection the first one was done day 23 days ago okay now we start with the nose again now you can see the nose is definitely back to, to normal the crust have dropped off so there's no more we need no more crustiness no more pointed nose show that the nose is has a normal skin okay now we go to the eyelids on the right hand side first. Now eyelids, you can see really is clear of crust and the hair has grown back. This is 23 days of the treatment, you see the hair has grown back. And so now we look at the ear, the right ear, the edges. Huh? The crust has really dropped off after the injection. With the injection it wouldn't drop off. That's why it was more crusty over the months. Okay, so then we look at the paws. That's the paw, just put it down, standing. Look at the paws. You see the hair has grown back, and uh, you can see there's no crustiness on the toes. Uh, normally, you compare just on the toes, crustiness, crusty. Yeah? Then the other side, you just part, part the hair and see the hair. Just put it down so they can focus. Uh. Put down, put down, put down. You can see the hair has grown back and there is no crust. Okay, now we look at the, the other side. You hold the, the other side. Now, the turn up again. Now, this image shows day five of treatment. Huh? Day five of treatment, actually the crust in the nose had already fallen out already. Just focus on the nose. Yeah. You see the crust has already dropped off. Huh? But there's still a bit left. But the eyelid, definitely, there's no more crust there because the mice have died after the ivermectin injection and by lot of the years the crust is still there uh, this one is very obvious it's very thick uh, this side and then the posterior the, the front and back cranial uh, the edges are all crusty you can see uh. okay then the toes eh? the left front paw can't see much because of the the positioning but it's crusty the, the other side the back one the back but you can see some crust has already dropped off. Huh? We need to clip the nails because the owner didn't do any grooming. The owner abandoned this rabbit to the pet shop owner. Pet shop owner gave to me to treat. Free of charge. Yeah. So this is the treatment now. Okay, now we look at this rabbit on the which side is it? The left side. Okay, let's look at the nose again. You see. Day 23 of treatment, just use a hand we do yeah. Hand lift up, you can see there's no more crustiness of the nose, in fact it's very clean. The eyelid is definitely very clean. And the ear edges, no, and no crust at all. Huh? No inflammation. Then we look at the paws. You can see that uh, the hair has grown back. 
it's not crusty anymore. And then the other paw. Okay. Now we look at the front. Okay, we show the front day one again. We look at the image day one, the front. Uh, and uh, you can see. Although this day five, but basically the no, the, the nose crust had, had dropped off. The eyelid is okay, clear, but the, the, the ears with the thick crusted edges are still there. This day five. Okay, now we look at day twenty three. The front of the rabbit. Now, just hold the rabbit, and then the front only. You can see a lot of difference. Huh? The nose definitely is clean. The eye. The, the eyelids are clean, the ears, eh? check. Is it crusty? No. no, you can see it's not crusty, it's quite clean. Okay, now we look at the belly, the stomach, the belly side. Now, early on, you can see the scrotal area was crusty, eh? but now you can see it's clean. So there's no irritation and no pain. Okay, look at the neck, the chest. The chest looks much better now. The chest, the sternum. Oh, slowly. Okay. We look at the chest. Overall, it was a ninety percent or ninety nine percent recovery. An injection of Ivermec zero point two mL was given on day twenty one, and uh, that was two days ago. So, normally with two injections, the rabbit should recover fully. Anybody interested in adopt, adopting this rabbit, let, let us know at Top Bio Vets. So we will close the case now. And uh, this shows that Ivermectin is effective as the treatment for rabbits. Normally two injections. The dosage, we will have to have the correct dosage, otherwise it won't be effective. So we will conclude with the dosage based on 0.2 ml and the uh, calculations will be done.